اوكي مرحبا اهلا وسهلا welcome welcome we are back um, take out your books احنا اليوم في صفحه 156 page 156 and we are moving on so this is the last lesson for unit 9 and it's one letter but with that one letter we have a lot of stuff to learn so let's do a quick review we have done the letter ف and we have done the letter قاف okay so both of these letters we did we talked about the fa being very light, right? An initial, medial, final. And the qaf we said was a heavy letter. And bear with me, I'm trying a new drawing app, so hopefully it is larger and more clear for you to be able to see. And then of course we did the letter kaf. And we said that the letter kaf was light. So at this point, you should have already done drills one and three. And then you should have um, also done drill seven for the letter kaf. And you should have practiced reading already in, for drill five. And make sure that you're keeping up with the online homework still on the Smart Sparrow website. So we are going to move on. And we are going to cover a new letter. So if this is my notebook line. The letter lam. Lam. And the letter lam is the length of an alif on the top, and then it hooks down below your notebook line. Okay, so it hooks down below your notebook line. And this is obviously going to make the la, or just the L sound. Okay, so we'll just write the L sound. Okay. Lam. Lam. Okay, so let's try looking at it in initial position, medial position, and final position. I'm going to go back to blue because I just like the color. So initial position, lam looks like this. Now, it is the same length of the alif, right? But the difference between the alif and the lam when you're writing it in a word and is connected is that the lam connects on both sides okay so this is a lam right here and then right at that point you're going to be connecting the next letter okay so for instance if i was to write li li and at any point that i'm saying to write a word you can always pause the video write the word and then unpause it so if I write lam and I want to connect it to a ya to make the e sound, I'm going to take this point and I'm going to connect that right after. Li. Okay. So this lam is going to connect. Okay. So it's going to look similar to an alif, but know that the alif is different because what does alif not do? It does not connect to what comes after it. Okay. So if you see something that is connected like this, that is an alif. But if you see something that's connected like this, um, connected to something to the left side, that is going to be a lam. Okay, so let's write some words. Libya. 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 This is the name of the country, Libya. We have a lam following it with a ya to make the e sound. Li. B. Yeah, Libya. Libya is a palindrome, meaning it looks the same forward as it does backwards, right? Similar to English words like wow. Anyways, that doesn't have anything to do with anything, but that is the lam in initial position. So notice here, this letter is the letter lam. What letter is this one? That is an alif. And the reason why it's an alif is because it's connected here and it goes straight up. Okay, and this one, this side, you know that it's an alif because, of course, it's connected to something after. Okay, so we did initial position looks like this. Medial position is going to be connected on both sides. So we're going to have a letter connected to the right and the left, and it goes up. So if you have your notebook line is like this. The lam is taking up that entire notebook line. Okay, so 
Let's do a word. Halib. Halib. Ha. Li. B. Halib. I'm going to start with the ha. Fatha. Lam. Connected on both sides. Ya. To make the e sound. And ba. Halib. Vocab word means milk. Halib. Halib. Let's do another one. Kalb. Kalb. Ka la ba. Kalb. So we have ka. Remember that diagonal shape? Put a fatha on it because making the a uh sound. Lam. Kal. Sukun. B. Kalb. Dog. So we can say kalbi. My dog. If you want to say your dog's name, you can say ism. Remember when we did the word ismi, my name, and ismi to zin. So ismi was my name. Ism by itself just means name. So we can say ism kalbi, name of my dog, my dog's name. Remember in, in possessive phrases, the thing whose it is, right, that comes uh, second. So ism kalbi, my dog's name. Ism kalbi. Lulu. I don't know. I don't have a dog. But if you have a dog, you could say that. Kelb. Okay. And then when we talk about the initial, sorry, when we talk about medial position, we have to talk about what happens when you have the lam, okay, in medial position, and the letter before it is a jim ha or a cha. Okay. So let's go to a new page. If you have lam and it's in initial, sorry, in medial position, it's the second letter, and the letter before it takes this shape, what you're going to do is you're going to write that letter, right, like this. And you have that. Actually, I'm just going to delete this portion. Okay, so we did lam initial position, medial position, and now final position. Final position lam looks like it's full form, like many letters. So you have, if this is, I'll do it in gray, if that's your notebook line, right? Then that lam is going above the line like an alif, and then it's dipping down below the line. So let's do some words. Let's try the word fossil. Fossil. Fa, sa, l, lam. Fossil. Fa, with a fatha, saad, and lam. Fossil. Fossil has the same meaning of saf. What was that word? Good. Class. But you're going to write down that fossil can mean class and it can also mean season. Okay? Like what season is it? Fossil. So that is lam in final position. Okay, so now that we have the lam, we gotta talk about a few really important things. And the first of that is when you have an alif plus a lam. Okay? And this is considered Al, and is the definite article, okay? So the definite article. And the definite article means that whatever word takes an al, takes alif lam, that word becomes definite. The easiest way that a word becomes definite in meaning is by saying the. In English, the definite article is the word the, okay? So I'll give you an example. If I say... Bab. Ma ma'ana bab. Door. And bab implies the meaning a door. Okay. If I add alif lam to the beginning of this word, so I take an alif. Remember, alif does not connect to the next letter, so I have lam in initial position. 
And I take L and then I connect the word Bab to it. I'm now going to pronounce it El Bab. El Bab. And now it means the door. So now you can define words using the word the. Sorry that my arrow has been there the whole time. I just noticed that. So that is the definite article. Okay. Now it has more functions than just the word the. And that's something that you will learn uh, more in a little bit. But for right now, its most basic meaning is the. Okay. So let's look at any of the words that we have done before. Let's look at, here's a word, kitab, kitab, kitab means book. So if I wanted to say the book, what would I do? I would have the same word, but with alif lam in the beginning, al kitab, and now it means the book. Okay, so now it means the book, al kitab. Okay. Now, where does this alif lam come from? Because we have always seen alif as a long vowel and it's never existed in the first part of the word, right? We've never written a word really that starts with an alif because it's a long vowel, right? So the reason why we can do this is because al originally is actually a hamza, okay? So it is a hamza and it's a lam that has a sukun. And because we use it so often, the word the we use all the time, right, in almost every sentence, because it's used so frequently, we end up just dropping the Hamza and not having to write it, and we just write al, just like this. And in the last chapter of this book, we're going to talk a little bit more about something called Hamza al which is the eliding Hamza that you're able to drop. So we'll talk more detail about that in a few chapters. But for now, know that the original alif lam was a hamza and a lam, but we use it so often that we're not going to ever have to write that hamza. So anytime a word starts with al, the definite article, you do not have to write the hamza. Okay? So let's try another one. We did the word fasl. We just did that. So how would I say the class or the season? Al fasl. Okay, we just simply add alif lam to the beginning. Okay. Let's do some other ones. If I want to take a word, what was the word that we did? We did the word milk. Halib. And if you add alif lam to a word that starts with a jim ha or kha shape, what you're going to do is you're going to connect the lam to the top of that letter. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show it to you as if you're writing it from the beginning because you don't want to write the word and then write the alif lam. You want to start with the alif lam. You're going to put your alif like this. Then you're going to draw your lam almost two-thirds of the way down and then bring it over for that triangle shape for the ha. Ha. Lib. Okay, the milk. I want you to do the same thing. Let's do it. Al jar. Remember jar. Mama'ana jar. Jar yani neighbor. So how would I write the neighbor? Al jar. If you want to make it feminine, al jara. So this is useful because now we can start sentences with the. From not like before this, we were using all these different sentences and it was my, 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 my neighbor this, my sister this, my brother this. Now you can use the. Okay. So if I wanted to say the neighbor, okay, we would put alif lam in front of it. Let's do another one. Sabah al khair. Sabah. Al-Khair, two words, so Sabah.